Here we are. Seated next to me is the athlete who has consistently performed the worst in the South Holland Thornton Superstars throughout the first 10 years. For the purposes of this interview, we have altered the screen so you may not identify that athlete. Of course, if you've consistently watched the Superstars, you probably know who it is. Also, for this interview, we will call this person Mr. X. Mr. X, welcome. Danke. What is the reason or what do you attribute to the bad performances you have done consistently in the Superstars? A complete lack of self-motivation. Mm, okay. Um, I've had the runs for the last seven years. That's good to know. Um, what do you feel? Is it maybe the, the events have not suited your athletic abilities? What events do you think we should have which would suit your abilities? Uh, sandpaper touching, I've always felt I was good at. Um, that when where you run into a tree, you know, not a big tree, a tree you could probably knock down. I think I'd do quite well at that. I think Chuck Jubay might like that event too, but uh, that's interesting. Okay, you've named your events now. Is there any athletes out there you really feel that coming up that you're really going to be better than them and, and pass them in the standings? Um, well, um, how many good legs do Ron Breyer and Dean Vondra have? Combined? Yeah, or in mixed sets. I don't know. Oh, well, I could probably beat them in a game of hopscotch or something like that, but maybe a wine tasting or drooling for dollars would be nice. Could they wear their knee braces? Well, their knees would fall off without them, wouldn't they? This is true. How long do you think you'll continue to participate in the Superstars if you keep doing this well? How long are you going to ask me that question, you pansy? I, I forget, do you have that lifetime bid into the Superstars? Yes, or till next Tuesday or summer reruns. Thank you, Mr. X. No problem.